I slept over EA's conference. Because honestly, who the fuck cares? And I'd skip straight to Microsoft if it weren't because of... how sad it was. Watching EA's conference was like an endurance test. From the very beginning, you know exactly what you're getting into. They proudly displayed that they have nothing to show. And despite of that, I kept going because I'm a fucking masochist. Please, keep it going, they're making a Star Wars game! I clapped because I know Star Wars! Okay, let's be fair here. Maybe this is good, you know? Maybe they came up with a fresh and clever take on the Star Wars universe that isn't afraid of taking bold risks. It broke new ground! Sadly, this was the only good announcement, and after this, things went on a downward spiral. Listen, just to show you how bad this was, I'll make this as quick as possible. Apex Legends. Skins and a new character? That's what takes you 26 minutes? And in the end, none of that really mattered, because there's still no Rule 34 of Watson. That's how you know your game's dead. New Battlefield 5 maps for the 5 people who are still playing it. 22 minutes. FIFA. It's fucking FIFA. 19 minutes. <laughs> 26 fucking minutes. Sims 4, an expansion for 30 bucks. 19 minutes. We're gonna kick to somebody else for this announcement. Okay. So here's Joey Graceffa. Ooh. Hello there, everyone. I'm Joey Graceffa. Hey, guys, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. That was almost three hours that I'll never get back. But you know what? That thought is not even nearly as sad as Ben Irving popping in for a total of two minutes to talk about Anthem. <laughs> talk to me. It's been a interesting four real months talk. for Anthem. It's been an interesting four <laughs> months. What have you guys learned? What are you pivoting? What's happening? Yeah, look, it's, it's been a wild ride. You know, we, we've learned a lot of lessons over the last four months. I think one of the most important ones was just around listening to player feedback better. Sure. Uh, and so we, we spent some time... Uh, I'm Greg Miller, and I'd say I had a lot of fun hosting this show, but that, of course, would have been a lie. This has been the worst. Please welcome the head of Xbox, Phil Spencer. Games, games, gaming, games, games, gaming, games, gaming, games, gamers, games, gaming, games, gaming is games, 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 games. What's up, gamers? We're here to game, okay? We're here to game, and today we're gonna game. <laughs> yeah, g g g gamers, welcome to the game zone. It's Phil Spencer, and he's here to let you know that he's an authentic gamer. And that's why he wears that shirt from that one video game. Because he's just like us, good gamers. And you know the worst part? These people eat the shit up. What's up, gamers? We have 60 games. Will you care about even half of them? Ah? Not so much for this being, ooh, the biggest game showcase ever. And really, apart from Cyberpunk 2077 being a Keanu Reeves simulator and that new Souls game, what new shit was actually exciting at all? My mission. Find the father I never knew. Find the father. He hasn't radioed in days. <laughs> that was probably the only moment of genuine enjoyment I got from this conference. Xbox Game Pass. Xbox Game Pass. Xbox Game Pass. Woo! Football Manager 2019. Whoa, Football Manager! Mm. Yes. Yes. Woo! And then they also announced a new Xbox, which is, uh... Transformative. Exploration. Gamers. Technology. Next generation. Immersion. Next gen ray tracing. 8K capability. We're looking at frame rates up to 120 frames per second. <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah, remember how the uh, new generation was supposed to be in 1080 at 60 FPS? <laughs> All the shit that they're saying is meaningless anyways without any games. But even then, they said that they're gonna release all their exclusives on PC anyways. In that case, what's the point in me owning an Xbox? Anyways, the main takeaway from Microsoft is that, uh... I mean, it was fucking boring. What else do you want me to say? Uh... <laughs> We have had 
an incredibly exciting year at Bethesda Game Studios. Given some of that excitement, impressed you're still here. You're very funny, Todd. Especially after selling this for 60 bucks a piece. Fallout 76. No, no. There's no one clapping. There's no one clapping. That's right, that's right. Human NPCs are coming to Fallout 76. <laughs> Not just NPCs, but a full quest line, new rewards, and as you saw, full dialogue trees. Wow, you finally meet the bare minimum requirements for this to be considered like an actual Fallout game. But listen, Bethesda performing necromancy on Fallout 76 it wasn't even the worst part. Wait. A battle to the death is the only no. sure Fuck no. yeah, we put a battle royale Woo! in Fallout 76. Interesting. <laughs> Dragons. Yeah! Hey, remember our game? It's it's totally not dead, guys. See that one guy there is excited. Seriously, please remember our game. And how about we show you a four minute cinematic trailer that doesn't tell you anything about the actual game. And remember our other Crash Grab game? It's now on the Switch, isn't it? Isn't it great? At Bethesda, we, like you, love mobile games. <laughs> Another fucking card game. You could experience the Elder Scrolls in a new way. Jesus Christ, shut the, the fuck, fuck up. up. Who paid you? What was it you, Todd? Did you pay this man? Holy shit, it's Commander Keen. Th the first game in almost 20 years, and it's a free-to-play mobile game that has nothing to do with the original. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. Wolfenstein Youngblood. With a gameplay experience that is bigger than any previous Wolfenstein game. You will have more weapons and, of course, even more evil Nazis to kill. Uh, that is one of the sweetest smiles I've seen in my life. And tell you what, Wolfenstein Youngblood looks way better than whatever the fuck New Colossus was supposed to be. So hey, let's be fair, one more point for Bethesda. Alright, alright, perhaps Bethesda's conference wasn't a complete waste of time. I have no clue how Deathloop's gonna play like, but it's arcane, so it's probably gonna be good. And Ghostwire is, uh... Well, <laughs> It's spooky. Oh, the snake. In the game, you will meet spirits. Some are dangerous, some are peaceful. <laughs> She's adorable! <laughs> My heart is melting! I will buy whatever you make. This felt like there were two completely separate conferences going on at the same time, you know? Where you'd have some Activision tier fuckery, and right after that, BAM! Good shit! You know, I'm starting to think that the only reason Bethesda's still afloat is because of these four. Because since Skyrim, it's been nothing but disappointment with this fucking slut. Oh yeah... Listen, I know that we were all watching the conference for just one thing. Yes! 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 Damn, boy! Damn, boy! He did! You know, Doom, it's, it's, it's looking alright. You know when someone makes a funny joke that most people like, and that person tells those people the joke again, and then asks them if they truly got it, and then they do it again. Limited Run Games did it better, like, come on. When you're a gamer and the man's trying to keep you down, there's only one thing you can do. Rise up. Fuck off. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Ah, uh, this is some just an RPG shit. This is some just an RPG shit! What the fuck? 
while not particularly outstanding, I'd say that this was the least cringeworthy conference this year. The two hosts didn't pull any punches and chose to focus on the games and the developers. Many of the games presented were good looking overall and quite frankly, they piqued my interest in one way or another. And some of them were pretty big upcoming releases, which I don't doubt many players will enjoy. There really aren't many negative things that I can say about the Epic Game Store show presented by PC Gamer. <coughs> Listen, I get that you're getting desperate because no one cares enough to watch your little sideshow, but this... This ain't it. <laughs> Enter Watch Dogs Legion, where you can for the first time ever, Watch Dogs. Oh, oh, you mean it's Watch Dogs, oh. Enter Chap Dogs, a franchise with protagonists so boring that the only logical next step was to cram in hundreds of them. Today, with Brexit, oh, London's at a turning Don't you love it when a huge multi-billion corporation makes social commentary? Listen, Granny Simulator is cool and all, but one gimmick is not gonna salvage a game with an overdone formula. Oh, Jesus Christ, Tom Clancy's this, Tom Clancy's that, Tom Clancy's fucking dead! Holy shit, it's Tom Clancy's Just Dance and it's coming out in November on the Wii! <laughs> Ubisoft has been creating worlds for over 30 years. We have the most diverse library of games. Yeah, that's the word I'd use. Diverse. <laughs> I'm pleased to announce that in 2020, Uplay Plus will be available on Stadia. So you're trying to tell me that we're gonna have subscriptions on top of subscriptions? <laughs> but don't you worry, because they managed to save the day with Greek Fortnite. Okay, here we are. Hello, everybody. Wh what? What is let this? this in, let this sink in indeed. Hello everybody at home. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a great show. What? It took me a solid two minutes to realize that they just fucking ended it. What the fuck? Was that it? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, right? No. Are you fucking kidding me? What? The fuck are you talking? How is that? How is that it? There must be something after this. There must be something, no. I'm just like, appalled. That was even worse than EA. Yeah, it's over. It's, it's, it's over. You know why this was worse than EA? Because at least EA had the courtesy of letting you know that you're in fact getting shit, which for some reason I voluntarily subjected myself to. By the end of it, I at least had some closure. I had good old Greg telling me that this was this the, worst. the worst. Ubisoft though, it felt like they just straight up spat in my face. Spend quality time. There was this one thing though. Yo, I got a wedgie, y'all. Huh? What? What happened? That's a. Oh, shit! Oh, my bad! Dude, we got down by Russian Badger. They're gonna come in A. Russian Why Badger finishes him off. This game, on A, on A, on A. Friendly shooter fire. Why the fuck would they do that? <laughs> So that nigga suck my dick, nigga! Yeah, 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 yeah! So we get 50 re-releases, huh? Okay. They're seriously promoting their own Call of Duty ripoff? Okay. Oh shit, people can fly! They made Painkiller and Bulletstorm, by the way. Are they gonna show gameplay of their new game, or, or uh, no? No, just a cinematic trailer? Okay. Oh look, it's a medieval fantasy game! Oh look, it's another medieval fantasy game! Oh look, it's another medieval fantasy game. ENOUGH! <laughs> listen, listen here. Square Enix is where my spirit fucking broke. Oh my fucking god! Oh, oh. Stop it! <laughs> Just stop! Please! Religion 2. Listen, you had one fucking job. It was to bring Idos onto the stage and. Uh, uh, oh? oh? Is, is it finally time? Is it? Is it real? I never asked for this. Oh, and it's a live service, by the way. It's, it's, a, 
it's a live service game. So our promise to the community is that we won't have random loot boxes or pay to win scenarios. And that's how they won over the audience, by doing the absolute bare minimum. <laughs> Hi, I'm Troy Baker and I play... Everyone. I'm, I'm Nolan North. The only thing that could have saved this entire conference would have been the CEO speaking English. RBG is our major part of Square Enix <laughs> Legacy, including Final Fantasy, Dragon Quest, and Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, Final Fantasy VII Remake looks cool and all, but they'll find a way to fuck that one up. Yeah. You know, there's a thing they did like, though. And that's how they had to call it Remind, because no one fucking talks about Kingdom Hearts anymore. Okay, I only have to watch one more thing. Please. Please be good. Please, please do something good. Please. Luigi's Mansion 3, Link's Awakening Remake, the three original mana games, yes, including the one that never made it out of Japan, plus a remake of the same one. No More Heroes 3, a new Panzer Dragoon game, a new Pokemon waifu whose rule 34 count is already in the hundreds, that new Platinum game, <laughs> Banjo, and Android 18 in Smash. The sequel to Breath of the Wild. Jesus Christ, what is wrong with you, Nintendo? B uh, but bootleg Mutska, these are all sequels and remakes. S shut the fuck up, I don't care. A lot of these were highly requested and didn't have a new entry in a very long time, some even up to a decade. You know, someone can learn a thing or three, Gaben, you fat fuck. Bottom line, what this shows is that Nintendo cares about what the real gamers want. And it says a lot when a cynical asshole like me can get excited over games that I won't be able to play. And now you might be wondering, who won E3 this year? Yeah, you wanna know who won? Yeah? Well, it certainly wasn't me, because I lost two weeks of my precious time on this bullshit. Goodbye. I'm fucking off. I'm never doing this again. Fuck this. Oops, perdón, que esto no es el canal de Mutska. Ah.